Morning, everybody. Uh, again, this is Two Minutes with PJ. As you know, today is uh, December the 22nd, 2015, three days before we celebrate Christmas. Um, and Christmas Eve will be two days before Christmas Eve. Now, as you remember, we're in the book of Daniel. Okay, last time we talked about um, a vision that Daniel had. Uh, this time, uh, what's going on is Daniel prays for the Israelites. When he does so, he does remember that the Israelites have sinned, <clears throat> and he even incorporates him within the sin. So he pulls himself as a sinner also, even though he has not sinned. Um, and even while this is happening, uh, the angel Gabriel comes to Daniel again. Now here, uh, within this, uh, the angel gives Daniel a vision. And during this time, we know that this is becoming close to the end of the time of captivity. And the vision that Daniel gets is basically 77 weeks. <clears throat> And that's just the interpretation of it. But in reality, it is roughly about 490 years, or 173, 880 days. Now, the importance of this, this does give almost the exact date of the death of Jesus. Okay? Um, and I, I found that very interesting, that it had that. Um, and... Basically, uh, within this vision is the future again for Daniel. Um, and within that, uh, Daniel also knew that Jesus was going to be sitting at the right hand of the Father during the time of tribulation. And he's going to be eventually there to judge us. That is, his place is to judge us. So it's interesting that we find out about this. And... Um, Shortly after this, of course, we're going to find out that the Israelites are going to uh, be able to go back to um, Jerusalem and rebuild their temple. But that's coming in the future. So with what does this mean? Well, Daniel incorporated himself as a sinner. Even though we have not sinned, we can incorporate us as sinners because we all sin. We all are not worthy. We all are sinners. Okay, we have sinned one way or another, but we all are sinners. But the reality is, we are saved through the precious blood of Jesus, who died on that cross. Jesus was born into this world sin-free. He came down from his glory to become a humble baby. <coughs> He's uh, born of the Holy Spirit, sin-free. And eventually he became the blemish-free lamb sacrifice for all of our sins. And this is what I get out of Daniel. It's the prediction of the birth of Jesus and also of the upcoming tribulation. So have a blessed rest of the day and God bless.